Hi everyone, we're playing Warframe and today we're looking at the Stalter farming. Stalter is a primary weapon. I'm starting with Ishtar here on Venice. The reactor is a complex system. Start by removing the coolant cells. My intel suggests there are rich enemy supply caches in the area, but I am unable to pinpoint their exact location. Into so Paos. But here on the left is where you can find the pieces for the Stalter. So either the Granum Void, the extended Granum Void, or the Nightmare Granum Void. And you can also get the blueprint on the Jackal mission, which I'll link in the description below. And that one previously. You need to complete these missions on the Corpus tile set. And uh, during the mission we need to kill the treasurer. Steal his coin and enter the Granum Void. We need to get uh, rank 3 in the Granum Void, which means killing 75 enemies. So I've got the Zorus equipped on my melee weapon. the fuel injectors. The reactor has gone critical. Get to extraction immediately. Okay, now that the mission's complete, I can uh, just wait for the treasurer to appear. Experiencing reduced gravity and magnetic anomalies. Hound has gone down. I equipped the hound that I got from uh, defeating the sisters of Pavos. Kind of cool. So as mentioned before, the treasurer takes two to five minutes to spawn in. Luckily my timer still has 4 minutes left to escape the uh, corpus ship. If you want to find the hand of Pavos like this one, you can wait for the treasurer. Thief shall never know the cool caress of your crowd. Steal his lunch money. And into the Granum Void. So Ishtar on Venus, I'm just using the, uh, the standard Granum Crown. And you want to fight around where the uh, captive Solaris people are. Because when they get released, they uh, give you more time in the Venom Void, like them. When you get that Super Blast, it releases the captive, and then you get more time in the Venom Void. It's pretty handy. Off to the next captive. There's no more captives, so I just have to get 75 now. I can pick up those um, pyramid triangle things, and they give you a small amount of time as well. Getting 
Nicholas. There we go. Got rank three. Now I've got less than one minute to get out. <laughs> Receiver. Let's do the next one. For this one I'm going to go to Neptune Triton. This is where I can do the extended Grenom Void. This is a rescue mission. We need to find and liberate the hostage before any harm comes to them. But before I rescue the hostage I'm just going to stick around near the and of Pavos. Wait for the treasurer to appear. All praise the mighty hand. Let's get a selfie. <laughs> Why is Pavos? The low thief shall never know the cool caress of your crown. Keep going. Nobody knows you're here. Give me that coin, dude. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to enter the uh, second level of Granum Void this time. Exemplar Granum Coin. Void disturbance. Tenno forces need backup within Granum's Void. Gateway collapse imminent. Ready your Zorus if it's equipped. Spectre particle spillover imminent. Thin the spectres and save any Solaris you can. Okay, I'll move on to the next captive. I'm using Mesa Prime, I can also use the um, Peacemaker ability to take out some of these Spectres. Oh, not sure where that third one is. Off the map. <laughs> anyway, should still be able to do it. the rescue. And got the stalker stock. And lastly got the stalter barrel. So now that I've got all the pieces I need I can go and build it. You can see I've already got one because I built one earlier. Nail them to the wall, the Stalter automatic rifle propels hardened steel rods at high speed. And it also has an alternate fire mode as well where it uh, melds the steel rods together and causes an explosion. So it's a pretty fun weapon to have a mess around with. Good for raising mastery rank as well. Let's just bring it up. 
Here it is. So yeah, definitely fun to play with. And the alternate fire mode is pretty cool too. That's the end of this episode guys. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Mm.